right now I hear there's only one phone in the United States, is the iPhone. It's a good phone, but what we are forgetting is the eye. The iPhone is all right, but the eye is the most important thing. iPhone is just a little gadget produced by this larger gadget. This is the gadget, isn't it? All the other gadgets have been produced by this gadget. If you pay little attention to this one, if the necessary understanding and awareness and ability to transform this gadget happens within you, your ability to live will be greatly, greatly enhanced. Then outside technologies are not a barrier. Outside technologies are a boon that's been offered to us. But the boons that have been offered to us are turning into curses in people's lives simply because they have not taken care of this one. They're only trying to take care of the external situation. We have done a lot of engineering in the world outside. And because of this, we have a huge level of comfort and convenience in the world today. The kind of comfort and convenience that no other generation of people could have ever imagined, that level of comfort and convenience we have. Though we have this, if our wish to be is to be blissful, to make the world blissful it would take too many things. But to make this one person blissful, a willing person, somebody who wants to be blissful, it shouldn't be difficult at all. But this has not been done because people have never paid attention to the mechanics of how a human being functions and to engineer that the way we want it. So these are technologies for inner well-being. Everybody wants health, peace, blissfulness, but these are simple things. Why these things are not happening is we have never paid attention to the inner mechanism of what a human being is. To pay attention to that and to create it the way we want it, this is inner engineering. There's significantly more ease in the way I live my life today than I did before. I still have the exact same stressors, the same difficult patients, the same hectic schedule, the same emergencies that require working late into the night. However, I do them with far more joy than I've ever done. In fact, my efficiency is at work is far greater now than it has ever been, and my stress level is lower than it's ever been. I've always been one of those people with so much energy and I've always had a lots of trouble sitting still. My parents didn't know what to do, they put me in track and I ran so I could run it out. But always, whenever I would just sit, I, it would be no more than a couple minutes. So after I took inner engineering, I've been able to really be much calmer and be more content within myself and be able just to be wherever I am and not be thinking, I need to do this, I need to run around and do this. I lost 40 pounds. Uh, my cholesterol went from 210 to 149, and my blood pressure is a lot lower, and my lifelong allergies have completely disappeared. Inner engineering gave me the gift of the moment. That joy is there now. There is a sense of appreciation in very small things. We will teach a certain process which is uh, known as the Shambhavi Mahamudra. This is a way of activating your energies in such a way that the very fundamental chemistry in your body will alter itself within a matter of two to three weeks. One can even measure this in the laboratory, such experiments have been done. How the blood chemistry changes within three weeks of practice has been recorded and you can make your chemistry a chemistry of blissfulness. Once your system come to, comes to absolute ease, there will be no disease. What is being taught is a scientific process. Step by step it will be taught, we need twenty-eight hours to impart this, twenty-eight to thirty hours of focused time. So it takes that much time to practically and experientially impart this. One aspect of the program is to bring a deeper understanding through their own system, to their physical system, to their energy system, to their chemistry, to their uh, emotional aspects of them, and also the psychological structures. Once they understand few basics, then we teach methods with which they can make these dimensions within themselves in a conscious manner. It was a wonderful experience. I'm a physician and I can't tell you how much it's going to help me with my stress. And also I'm going to incorporate in my practice too. It was beyond my words. That is the most important and most needed element in here for the human being.
I think this is one of the best things that has happened to me. Like I meditate, but uh, so I was expecting a few things from this course. Uh, but whatever I got was way better and way uh, bigger than what I had expected. So I, I think it has changed my life in a fundamental way. Fabulous. It was excellent. I love it. Yeah, it's very inspiring. It does not demand any lifestyle changes, it just takes only twenty-one minutes of your day. If you're willing to dedicate twenty-one minutes of your day to this simple process, it has been life tra transforming for millions of people. This is not a religion, this is not some kind of a teaching, this is not a philosophy, this is a technology. One has to just learn how to use it. Like how you learn to use your iPhone, similarly you learn to use this eye to its optimum level, to its fullest capacity. Isha Foundation is a hundred percent volunteer organization. The volunteers are taking it to the people because it's made such a big difference in their life and they want to share it. Their dedication, their time, their life is being given to make this happen to many other people and this is my wish and my blessing that every human being, we do not know what you will achieve in the outside world or not, but this much every human being deserves that his experience of life on this planet is a pleasant experience. This much everybody is able to do if only if they turn inward. These simple tools will help people to bring themselves to a new level of balance and pleasantness within themselves, this is something every human being deserves.